Hey, what's up guys? It's Evan and today we're going to be looking at using a drawer navigator in a React Native application. We're going to be using the awesome library React Navigation created by the beautiful Brent Vatney and we'll also be using the Create Drawer Navigator. So over here I have an example of what it would look like. So you see, uh, that was, uh, uh, all right. So over here, you see, I've got an example of what we'll be making. I can slide over from the left and pull over this drawer. I've got some options of different screens. I'm going to click profile. And then I've got a button here where I can just go back. And then you see it's that I should also show you. It changes the, the activation state. So it's a very convenient, simple to add and highly customizable component. We're going to be getting into some of the customization right now. Of course, the links to the documentation here and the snack that we'll be looking at are in the description below. So you can stop the video right now and go check it out. Just, Just be sure to leave a like. And uh, here we are at the snack. All right, so what we've got going on up here is we are importing create drawer navigator and create app container from react navigation now create app container you don't need to worry too much about it's kind of a base thing that you do it connects things like the back handler on android to the top level navigator uh, that you create don't worry too much about it let's focus mostly on the create drawer navigator now what the create drawer navigator is going to do is it's going to create one of these but how do we do that well it's simple we create components and then we pass those components into our create drawer navigator an object right here you can pass them in like this this is the most shorthand way of doing it you could also do something like screen is assigned home or just set like an actual key for it either way works uh, either of the three methods I just showed you pretty sure either only applies to two but anyways we're passing in these components and then they assemble our uh, what we see here. We could also pass in a third one if we wanted. Profile three, call that profile. And now you see I've got a, another one over here in the bar that I can click on, and it will take me to that screen. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So then we have the configuration. Now the configuration is the second object that we're gonna pass in. And this allows us to do a bunch of things, way more than I'm about to show you. And you can find them all in the docs that, again, are linked below. They're super helpful. And uh, yeah, just tons of stuff. I can't cover it all, but you can build just about any kind of use case you want. So let's cover some stuff. We have the drawer type, right? We have slide, and then we have back and front. So slide example, as you see, I push all the content over, and I slide in the drawer. We have the back drawer type which means that I pull it from behind the page as opposed to from in front of the page, which is the default. So you see that's the, uh, this is the front of the page right there. Pretty neat, huh? All right, so what else do we have? We have drawer position. We can set it to the right or the left. So I'm going to move over here to the right. Pretty cool. We can do things like set the drawer's width. I'm going to change that bad boy to two. Oh, right, I put it on the other side. I keep forgetting. Notice that it also handles the status bar really nicely for us. I really like that. And you can do things like set the uh, the background color. In fact, let's just turn a bunch of these on. I don't know why I keep turning them off. Whip that bad boy out. Now you see we've got an orange one coming from behind on the right side. Looking good. Looking, yeah. Mm. And then we can even set a custom component. We don't need to use the component that's provided here. If you want, you can build something custom. I've got an example right here taken from the docs. And you see this is just a, a pure component written as a function as opposed to a, a regular component. And we're passing in the props. We use a scroll view and then we have a safe area view which helps uh, with the iPhone X and screens that might have dangerous areas to keep the content where we want it. And uh, then we're passing in the navigation drawer items using this drawer items thing. And then uh, you see I put in a, ooh, what's this? It's a picture of the creator of React Navigation, Mr. Brent Vatney. Hi, Brent. Gonna push that away. Bye, Brent. And uh, get rid of this custom, really all that custom stuff. Let's see, is there anything that I haven't done yet? Oh, right, so the icons in our navigation options inside of a component that we use for a screen. You see, we set the title. We can change that title to what we want. I want, and then there it is. We can change the icon. So I'm using the prop drawer icon, and then I'm using a function, I've got the focused to change the color. And then I'm just pulling in Ionicons from Expo Vector Icons, passing in the name of the icon. You can find what all the names of these icons are on some website that maybe I'll link below. But as you can see, there's just tons of customization options. I don't think you even need this many, but it's super easy to create what you want. Uh, I actually think this is actually 
pretty neat. I might go back to using them. Anyways, so great stuff, easy to use, quick to use, <laughs> tutorial, doesn't do it justice. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. Uh, comment what you want to see done next in the comment section below. Again, links all in the description, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao. No.